Welcome everyone, I'm Ricky from Tech Talk and this is my OnePlus 7 Pro review. So I've been very fortunate to use this device now three to four weeks and I've used it every day on different daily basises and doing different things. We've had loads of updates which is a really positive thing to see from OnePlus and they've never settled to provide extra bits that I've needed for my daily life. And we're gonna go through the review, going through key details and key aspects of the device. Obviously I've got some photos to show you as well when I went on a photographic tour around London with this device and also I want to show you the display and show you the benchmarks and how it works and I'm genuinely impressed obviously no notch which is awesome you have that motorized pop-up camera so that's really fun and loads of things to talk about there so let's get into the review and first of all I want to talk you around your device so if you're thinking of buying this you might want to know what things look like before you go and buy it or if you're an enthusiast on YouTube and used to watch unboxing videos and you want to see everything about the device I want to show you that aspect so first of all the color so you have three different options you have mirror gray here I also have seen the nebula blue and also they have just launched the almond option so you can buy an almond option which is like a gold effect but really shines a light in multiple different ways the most popular color I think and I like the most is the nebula blue so this is a 256 gigabyte model with eight gigabytes of RAM so as you can see there's glass on the front and the back so what is it weight wise weight wise it's 206 grams and feels really good it does come with a Case. So I've got a case here. I've taken it out of the case for the purpose of the video. So taking a side look here and looking at its thickness, it's 8.9 millimeters thick. This is actually quite thick compared to some devices that are out there on the market. But I actually feel like, yes, I've got a phone in my hand or it's in my pocket. I know it's in my pocket. So which is really helpful. It's quite wide as well. And now having all of your display to watch all of your content is really enjoyable. And one of the main things I really like about this device. So when I say about using this device, what software is it using? So it uses Android. Android 9 and Oxygen OS 9. So that gives you a mixture of two different softwares. And obviously coming over here to the far left, instead of having the Google services, you've got Never Settle, and you've got information, different applications that you can quickly jump to, change and adjust, and do what you need to do, which is really good. I've written a note here as I went on a photographic tour. So I put it in there so I can copy and paste it when I'm sharing my images. But coming back again, a little bit different compared to what you see on other models. But Oxygen OS is one of the fastest that we've ever seen on most Android devices at the moment. Paired with the 90 Hertz refresh rate built into this display makes it absolutely smooth as butter to run through, enjoy, no matter what you're doing. And that's one key thing that I really like to see from this device. So swipe up, going through your menus, really quickly here, really quick adjustments and really fast. And I've enjoyed that aspect. So first of all, let's take a look at the top of our device. So along the top, you're gonna find a mic. Then also you've got your hidden motorized pop-up camera. So if I launch the camera here and then turn it around, you can see it pop up there. And this is strong, this is strong. You can grip it like this, no issues, no, no problems whatsoever. And then if you go to drop, it will fall away. So it has a drop protection built in there, which is really helpful and a really good thing to see. And I'm really impressed by that option. You get a message there saying it's detected that it's potentially gonna be dropped and it then hides the camera away. Looking down the right hand side, first of all, you've got your textured slider. As you know, with OnePlus, it offers a slide option. So you can have vibrate, you can have silent, and then all the way at the bottom, you've got ring. So you can switch between these very quickly, but it's texturized, it has a texturized grip to it. And as you know, being visually impaired, that's a really good thing to have. Then underneath that, you do have your power button. So this will power your display on and off. So it does offer an always on display, but tapping the fingerprint sensor will unlock it really, really fast. 0.21 seconds and you're actually into your device and that's really quick and impressive to do thanks to that in-screen fingerprint sensor. So coming down to the bottom of our device, first of all, you've got one of two stereo speakers. You have a microphone. You've got your USB-C here for syncing and charging with your warp charge 30, so really fast. And that's 34% faster than previous generation. You also then have antenna bars here so your phone signal can penetrate the device to actually give you service. And then you finally have your SIM tray here. So the SIM tray for this device offers a dual SIM option, but sadly no micro SD card storage options but with the amount of storage you have on your device so for this model 256 gigabytes is really enough and then obviously you can use cloud-based storage options if you want to go and purchase them 
or use the free options that they offer. So coming back to the USB-C port here for your battery and charging your device. So the battery on this device is 4,000 milliamp hours. It's coming around to the back here, you get to see that gorgeous color again. It does like fingerprints, but with 4,000 milliamp hour battery, it's gonna last you all day. And believe me, I took it on a tour of London doing photographs, content viewing, social media, blogs and posts. And also then I uploaded a 4K video. I also used mapping systems and went my way around London and had no problems whatsoever. I had battery there still at the end of the day. So with warp charge, 30 it's really impressive it can get you going through your whole day with just 20 minutes of charge and believe me it does charge really quickly so this is now 34 percent faster than the previous generation so you can charge as well while you're still gaming so that's really good as well so there's no deterioration in charge time because you're gaming and using your device you can do both at the same time and still get ready to go out when you need to that's absolutely awesome so coming down the left hand side here all you have is your volume controls. And this is just underneath another antenna bar there, but they're smooth and that's okay because that's all that's on this side. So talking about volume, like I said, there is a dual stereo speaker options on this device. There's one built up here at the top and these offer Dolby Atmos so you can enjoy that surround sound feeling from your device. So turning to the back of our device, First thing you're gonna notice is a triple camera setup with a dual LED flash. You've got logos and branding and we'll go through the cameras in a lot more detail. So coming around to the front and the most important thing about your device, of course, is the display and what you're gonna be looking at all the time with all of the content you're gonna be viewing, the social media apps that you're gonna be using majority of the time to share them pictures from the rear cameras, and just generally moving through the system so quickly and so fast thanks to its 90 hertz refresh rate. So what are you actually looking at? Let's delve into the specs. So the display itself is a quad HD plus curved edge to edge design. So it will just bend around the corners here and you can see it's got that edge to edge design on both sides. So you're really drawn into your content. It's a 6.67 inch fluid AMOLED display. And that's always measured corner to corner. The resolution is 1440 by 3120. That's measured corner to corner for that 6.67 inch display size. Its pixel density is 516 pixels per inch, so loads of content that's gonna look rich, vibrant, and really enjoyable to watch on this display. Its screen to body ratio is 88%, so it's really high as well. You can get loads of screen and very little body. It has HDR10 and it offers that 90 hertz refresh rate. So that means it's buttery smooth, it's quick, fluent, and it's gonna fly through everything. So swipe up, going through this is just no juttering at all. However quick I wanna go, it's keeping up with me, which is really good. So coming into settings here, flying up and down settings is gonna be really quick, really smooth, and no juttering, no issues. This happens with applications and websites as well. Google Play Store here, and just flying through so quickly, just no issues whatsoever. So even their images are taking longer to actually load, but it's actually flying through. And that's what that 90 hertz refresh rate means. And one good thing as well, it's actually turned on by default out of the box. You can reduce this if you so want to. The device is made up of Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and the back with an aluminium frame around the edge. So moving around to cameras, so your camera is a motorized pop-up camera. It's a 16 megapixel lens with f2.0 wide as auto HDR. Video recording is available with 1080p and 30 frames per second and it has a gyro EIS which is electronic image stabilization. It has loads of modes and loads of features to use and some of the photographs that I've taken. It's from the front camera and some are on the rear camera and it's just been enjoyable to use. So talking about the camera, a couple of things is when I first received this, when I took some photos, I was a little bit disappointed. Then a couple of weeks later, I received quite a big update. There was an update to the camera software and the camera systems because it does have very powerful lenses inside here and it should be able to do everything that you need it to do. So I'm really impressed with the actual update. It offered better images. That's why I went out and done the photography tour of London so I could really showcase this device. So turning to the rear of our device here, you have a triple lens camera setup. So what do you actually have? First of all is your 48 megapixel main lens and this is that Sony IMX sensor. This is an f1.6, it's wide and it's a half inch sensor from Sony. It's one that the majority of the flagships are using in 2019. It offers laser and phase detection autofocus with OIS which is optical image stabilization. Then you have a 16 megapixel lens which is f2.2 
to. This is ultra wide and you can get up to 48% more details, people, your whole world that you're exploring into your photograph. So it has a really good ultra wide view and everyone and everything can be in your photograph. Then you have an eight megapixel lens, which is an F 2.4 and this is your telephoto lens. This offers three times optical zoom. It also has laser and then phase detection, also focus and also optical image stabilization. Underneath, you're gonna find a dual LED flash. When it comes to video recording, you do have a few options here. You can record in 4K, which is 2160p at 30 or 60 frames per second. At 1080p, you can record at 30, 60 or 240 frames per second. And then at 720p, you can record at 480 frames per second as auto HDR and gyro electronic image stabilization. So when you come around to GPU and CPU, the power engine, the powerhouse of your device, it's powered by the seven nanometer Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor, which is the latest one for 2019. It's an opt-core processor with one core running at 2.8 gigahertz, three cores running at 2.42 gigahertz, and four cores running at 1.8 gigahertz, and they're all Cairo 485 processors in there. The GPU is from Adranu, and that's the 640, again, the latest flagship model for 2019, that you're gonna find on most devices. To keep a lockdown on the device and its powerhouse and engine room, they've offered a new liquid cooling system, which will help maintain a cool temperature while you're putting it through its paces, no matter it being the camera, content viewing, just day-to-day -day usage, warp charge 30 while you're still gaming. A liquid cooling system is really gonna help and be really beneficial. So a couple other things I wanna highlight is that the Fnatic mode, dominating games with Fnatic mode, get rid of all of your distractions for uninterrupted and immersive gaming experience. You can really enjoy your games, but without getting distracted by notifications, or getting bothered by people, that's a really good option. The other is a haptic vibration motor, so every touch feels more powerful thanks to our most advanced vibration system. The ever subtle vibration helps you guide typing while your phone pulses with intensity during gaming, so it will change and adjust depending what you're doing. So if I go into the Google Play here and say I want to search for something, like the brand new Toy Story 4, I've already got it up there already. So if I type in Toy Story here, I get tiny little vibrations, which is really helpful so I'm going to click on Toy Story 4 here I'm actually going to show you the trailer for this because I want to show off the display and obviously show off the sound I'm going to play everyone Bonnie made a friend in class what? oh so she's already making friends no no she literally made a new friend I want you to meet Forky uh -huh. Hi. Hello. Hi. Ah. <clears throat> he's a spool yes yeah I know Forky is the most important toy to Bonnie right now we all have to make sure nothing happens to him. Woody, we have a situation. I am not a toy. I was made for soup, salad, maybe chili, and then the trash. Bugs, we've got to get Borky. Affirmative. Why am I alive? You're Bonnie's toy. You are going to help create happy memories that will last for the rest of her life. Huh? What? Oh, yeah. Bo? Forky, come on. Bo? Bo? Hi there. My name is Gabby Gabby. We can't stay. <laughs> yes, you can. Boy. Woody, behind you. Bo, what are you doing here? No time to explain. Come with me. We need to get back to our kid. Aw, Sheriff Woody, always coming to the rescue. Bonnie needs Forky. Woody, who needs a kid's room when you can have all of them? Yes. Wow. Woody, aren't we going to Bonnie? We have to find the... What do we do, Buzz? What would Woody do? Jump out of a moving vehicle. Let's go. Up there. You gotta go. You gotta go. If you should have me. No. You've handled this lost toy life better than I could. Open your eyes, Woody. There's plenty of kids out there. Sometimes change can be good. You can't teach this old toy new tricks. You'd be surprised. Bonnie? We're going home for you. Okay. 
That takes me back. I watched the first ever Toy Story a good few years ago now, so I'm looking forward to seeing that one. It just shows that how rich and vibrant the display is. It's very loud. Obviously, it's very quiet here at the moment. But when I was out and about testing and that, it worked well. I was enjoying my content no matter where I was. The screen lit up, very bright. It's on the brightest option at the moment. I also have studio lighting though as well that potentially is affecting that. As you see there from the trailer, it does look good. It is enjoyable to watch on the screen. You've got a large screen as well, which is really helpful. You're not inhibited by any notches. And obviously apps do offer a full screen option, but it just needs to be changed and adjust depending on your options that you're going to use. So coming through to pricing and storage options, what are your choices? So the OnePlus 7 Pro starts at £649 with six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes internal storage. For £699, you're gonna get eight gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. And then for £799, you're gonna get 12 gigabytes of RAM and 256 gigabytes of storage. Please remember there is no micro SD card storage option though, so please make sure you make the right storage option choice for you. So coming through finally to my thoughts and a couple of extra things that I want to talk about. So when I first got this device and the 90 hertz, sort of refresh rate was shocked. I was like how quick and fluid it moved. It was enjoyable and I was just so impressed with the way the device felt. It feels premium. It feels good quality. It acts the way it should act. It's a good device for 2019. Problem is sometimes there are devices out there that just seem to take the sensors and make it slightly better. But with the updates and everything that we've had here for this device and some of the shots I've taken now, this camera is on par with them other 2019 flagship devices. And that's a really good thing to see and I'm really glad that that is happening now. One cool thing I do like about this device and, and it is key now that we're talking about our digital well-being and that is Zen mode. So let me show you Zen mode. So our digital well-being is very key to us at the moment and companies want us to take time away from our devices put them down and go and enjoy something else and keep our eyes away from technology. So OnePlus come up with this new idea called Zen Mode. And it's great to just put your device down, go and enjoy life, go and have a cup of coffee with someone, speak to someone that's potentially next to you and interact with people and just enjoy being with someone instead of just head down, focused on a device all the time. So it says here, phone down, enjoy life. So tap on Zen Mode. It says inside here, take a 20 minute break from your phone Stop, relax, and clear your mind. You can turn on Zen mode here. You have different options up here at the top. So you have a graph here of how many times you've done it. So your statistics will be here. Also, you do have settings and some options here. So Zen mode notification. So what you do is, if you toggle this on, let's go. So inside here, it says, here are some rules that you need to know. Zen mode can't be canceled once it started. Incoming notifications will be temporarily muted. You still receive phone calls and make emergency calls. All apps will be locked except for the camera. By clicking start, Zen mode will begin and you'll get a countdown here. And what you need to do is just chill out, relax, and enjoy being away from your device. Obviously, like it said, you could still use the camera, which is a little bit annoying. I would rather it done nothing. You actually chill out and just enjoy life, enjoy people around you, and enjoy your own time just taking a couple of minutes or 20 odd minutes here during your day just to relax. So what we'll do is we're gonna have a relaxing time now and we'll come back when this is done. So coming into our last 10 seconds here of our Zen mode, and I did actually allow it to go all the way through because you can't stop it, but I did pick up my other device. So there we go, our Zen mode is then complete. It gives you a well done here, it's just saying, your statistics as well. And you can share that with people if you want to. You can share that you relaxed and turned off your phone, which is really good. Coming back, it's gonna give you then your notifications and you can see your notifications. So inside here, you can see your statistics and see how well you've done. With, and then you've got notifications, days, and then usage times. So it's really fun. It's a good thing to do. And your digital well-being is really important to every single company now to make sure that you look after yourself and take a break away from your device. So coming back home here, we've got that large icon. So to find this as well, it's actually in an app widget. It's not a dedicated app at all. So all you need to do is add a widget here and I've just added it on its own home screen. So which is really helpful for me to see. And I can go through my notifications and change and adjust which notifications I wanna deal with now after my 20 minutes relax.
relaxing. So to finish up as well, coming up to the end of my review, what could they maybe improve for next time? So next time for me, a micro SD card, potentially to add more storage onto our device, just in case you go through the 256 gigabytes rather quickly, as I do when I'm recording 4K video or I've got loads of content on here to watch. So as I'm traveling, I download content on like Netflix or Amazon Prime. To have more storage is always a better thing. So a micro SD card might be better in the future. But otherwise, it's really enjoyable. It's nice that I've had a OnePlus 7 Pro, the latest device from OnePlus. Then also talking about accessibility settings, this device has loads of accessibility settings. What it could do is improve on a couple of options and include a couple extra options to cover all the range of different abilities. But otherwise, they have a good amount of settings on here. You have textual differences on your buttons, which is really helpful. And I think that's a really good thing to see. You have a large display here that's very bright, very vibrant. And also you've got a quick smoothness of that 90 hertz refresh rate. So overall, a really good device. And then my final thoughts is if you want the OnePlus 7, you like the OnePlus 7, don't be scared of what people said about the camera because after the update, the camera is absolutely fantastic. And I hope you enjoyed seeing the images that I have taken. Also, if you go to our Facebook page, which is Tech Talk, and it's linked in the description, you'll see a whole album of photos and videos that I have taken on this phone that's not made it into this video. And if you do have any questions or any queries, please drop a comment down below and you know I'll be more than happy to help. From me, Ricky, thanks always for watching. And if you're new to Tech Talk, hit subscribe, ring the notification bell to stay updated, and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.